Hello, good evening. It's Erica, your energy healer, again here for you today. Um, I want to assist you on a meditation for your chakras to balance your seven chakras. Um, I've been called to do this kind of work for the human collective. <laughs> I'm here to help and assist all of you in um, whichever way you prefer in regards to aligning your chakras, um, being connected to your higher self, um, bringing some healing into your body. So uh, this is what we're going to do tonight. We're going to align ourselves and um, and get all our energies in check. Okay. So we are going to start with some deep breathing exercises. Um, may have most of my uh, most of the time my eyes closed, but uh, don't fall asleep on me. Uh, just enjoy the meditation and try to att attempt to do the work with me, okay? Because you're going to benefit out of it. Okay, so let's start with some deep breaths. What I want to talk about first, before our meditation, I do want to bring attention to why uh, this is being brought. Um, as a human collective, as humans that we are here on this planet Earth, we need to focus more on aligning our chakras. We need to um, bring about our energy centers and really connect to all our energies. We have to peel back any of the energies that have been compacted um, in regards to traumas, events in our lives. Um, we need to just peel them back like peeling back an onion there's layers and layers that we need to um, address and the only way that you are able to address all these feelings and emotions is by facing them so we're gonna do a little bit of that tonight that way if you ever want to meet with me for an energy healing this kind of gives you an idea of maybe a process that we can go through okay all right so um, let me see if there's anything else. So basically what you want to do is you want to focus on the now. You want to focus in this moment of now because um, yesterday was now when you was there yesterday. Tomorrow is now when you're there and right now is now. So every day will have its own troubles. Um, right now you want to you wanna always just focus on your present now because this is all you have. Um, you know, so basically really all you want is happiness. So you can reach that happiness within by knowing thyself. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to dig deep and work on that. Okay. All right. So let's start with uh, some deep breathing again. And basically what I want to you to do is I want you to focus on your root chakra okay take a deep breath just do the exercise with me that way you know what to do when you're on your own or you can replay back this video and, and do it again okay it's important to process all these emotions so now with the root chakra the root chakra holds a lot of our um, deep um, emotions where in regards to our past you know trauma or events so you want to just focus on that red color and feel any thoughts this chakra is located right in the pelvic area um, process any feelings that are coming up at this time from that area just breathe in and feel you know were there any past events where you kind of felt lost or not listened to or not heard or anything let's go ahead and focus on that root chakra and see what thoughts come up process that
any past events, anything you wish to forgive. Know that this is um, what your sexuality brings about. Your creation. All right, so now we're going to bring our awareness to the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is the color orange. This is where we find a lot of our creativity. A lot of emotions are, are processed here. This area here, this is right above your pelvis, below your abdomen, abdomen. So you just want to focus your energy, you want to focus your attention on that area of your body and see what thoughts arise. See what that energy is sharing with you. Any feelings of family members, uh, you know, hurting you in the past or any co-workers or bosses or anything like that that comes up you want to anyone that has placed transgression on you you want to forgive them you want to share this you share compassion with them because this is how this is how you re overcome these feelings and this is how you peel back those those layers so breathe in that energy that orange energy See what it brings you. Process those thoughts. And this is what it takes to do the work. You're just sitting there with yourself, listening, not only, not so much to what the mind is saying, let the thoughts come and pass. More what your body's saying. Very good. So what you want to do now is you want to move up to your solar plexus chakra, which is right on your abdominal area. It's yellow, bright yellow, bright, bright yellow, right in your abdominal area. Okay. This is the expression of you. If you need to rock. Like while you're, while you're doing this, if you need to rock or if you need to move back and forth. I know this is hard. This takes practice. It takes a lot of practice. You know, sometimes you can't stay still. Sometimes the energies make you want to move a little bit. That's fine. If you want to stand completely still, that's fine. If you can't stand still, that's fine. Just rock yourself. <sighs> right, and take a deep breath in and let it out. Now, this solar plexus is basically your identity of who you are. Have you been able to truly express who you are? Have you been limited to expressing your, yourself, your I, your identity? Your personality, your personal reality, what creates you? To focus on that. There have been circumstances where you have been suppressed and you wish you would have said something different. Play back that memory. Let it rise up. Give it love. Forgive it. And know that it's not your expression. Your expression of you is right now. So I want you to allow that solar plexus, that bright yellow light shine through and express itself okay focus on that chakra see what what feelings and emotions arise and elevate those thoughts allow them to release themselves
maybe we wish we would have been better at something or maybe we wish we would have accomplished a certain goal or maybe we feel because we couldn't accomplish something we we have feelings of regret of being let down know that you have a continuum in your existence in your consciousness there's a continuum to your existence so just because you haven't had an opportunity to do something now doesn't mean that in another life or in another circumstance it would arise up differently for you you have to accept that it's not your path you accept you have to accept that in this lifetime sometimes it's just experiencing emotions of regret maybe that's what you're supposed to experience in this lifetime you understand so don't be so hard on yourself on your identity don't wish to push yourself or pull something that you're not the solar plexus chakra you want to flow you want to you want to you want to flow with it you want everything to come with ease okay all right so now i want to move up to your heart chakra okay and in this chakra i want you to meditate the way that i want you to meditate and process and heal this chakra is i want you to take two hands and just put them on your chest and I want you to feel your heart beating. And this is called work. It's called work. Yes, it is. Because you have to put your energy to it. Okay? You must do this. The more you do it, the more in tune you will be with your life and more aligned. The less karmic cycles you will have to process. The less repeated patterns you will have to process. You can find your purpose in life. Okay? So... Right now, while you're holding your heart, I want you to feel it beating. Don't stop breathing. Just keep breathing. Feel it beat. Now, this organ gives you life. This is their center. This is your center being. This is you. And I just want you to say out loud, I love you. Say it again. I love you. Say it one more time. I love you. So now, I want you to say it to yourself. I want you to say it with your head bowing down. Like if you're talking to your heart. And bring that energy into your heart. And say, I love you. Really mean it. Really mean it. Two more times. I love you. And do it one more time. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Say it. I love you. Okay. Now. Right now. What I want you to do. Is I want you to take this hand. And place it right below your abdomen, okay? Right below your abdomen. Sorry, my camera's a little limited here. But I want you to raise the awareness from your solar plexus to your heart. Now what this focus does is it brings identity to your heart, to your center being. It brings identity. It brings support. Does the heart need support? The heart works in a way where you are truly expressing yourself physically, who you are, and then you are truly expressing yourself verbally. Okay? Your heart hurts. Your heart hurts when this expression is not expressed and this expression is not expressed. Okay? So if you can follow me with this, what we want to do is we want to bring comfort to the heart, knowing that we are making a true effort to express our inner being and follow what the heart wants us to do. When you, I hear people sometimes say, well, I went to school for this and that, but really my heart is in da-da-da-da-da. 
all I did this and that and in my life, but really my heart is da 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 da. We know that we are guided by our heart. This is our first brain. This is our second brain. Okay, so I want you to open your hands, just like this. Place them on your thighs. And really allow that energy in your heart to be felt. Have you had repressed feelings? Is there people in your life that have hurt you? Recall that thought, recall that circumstance, that memory. Bring it in. I'm asking you to face it. I'm asking you to process it for your own health, for your own inner growth, soul growth. And just sit with that for a moment. We're just going to take a couple of breaths and just listen to our heart. Our heart is speaking. Let's listen to it with our palms, on our thighs. Allowing the energy to be heard. Think darkly. Think of colors. First gray. Very good. Not a lot of people, I'm getting that. Not a lot of people want to face this energy. I understand. They want to move on to the other um, three chakras. I understand. We're going to get to them. But like I said, this is seven chakras, right? Three lower, three upper, the heart is in the middle. So please, let's give the attention that it needs. Process it. Take this time to process it. Process those emotions. The emotions come and go. The thoughts come and go. You have to be aware. Just be aware. Just sit in the background. Okay, you sit in the background and these thoughts are passing. The emotions are passing. That's not who you are. You are consciousness. You are vibrational energy. The thoughts, the emotions, the feelings. They don't make you who you are. Those things come and go. Be in this now. So that's why I ask you. That's why I ask you to raise the memories. Raise them to erase them. Raise them to erase them. Raise them to erase them. Once it's in the past, it is forgiven. It's just a memory. It's just a thought. It's not who you are. Whatever growth, is it grow? Okay, good, moving on. We're gonna work on the throat chakra. The throat chakra, what I want you to do is I want you to meet the index fingers, the thumbs, and the six fingers. And I want you to face it up. This is called the mudra. We do a lot of mudras in our energy healings. When my clients, we do a lot of hand positioning. Every, every client, every person needs their own individual healing. and your higher self will guide my higher self to bring about the healing that you need. So this is called a mudra. It's tied to the meridians in your body as a, the meridians are the energy points that acupuncturists use to heal in the same way positioning your hands will do that. So we're going to work on this throat chakra. Now with the throat chakra, it's going to be a different meditation, okay? We're going to do a series of sounds. It's going to look weird but follow me through, okay? Great. The first sound is gonna be, ah, okay? We're gonna do it a couple times. 
three, go on, take a deep breath in. speak out, speak your truth. This is what your throat chakra is all about. Allowing it to speak so it doesn't compact. When you allow your throat chakra to speak, your heart is expressed, your solar plexus is expressed, your, your sacral energy is happy and your root chakra is excited. So the next sound is going to be for Mother Earth so we can ground ourselves and ground our throat chakra to the earth. Okay, so this time we're going to just put our fingers like this. This is the um, middle finger and thumb. And just place them like this, okay? Place them on your thighs. And I want you to say OM. Okay, OM. I'm going to do that a couple of times. All right, cool. Ready? Go. Oh. keep my eyes closed with this one because now we're going to focus on our all for seeing eye this is our intuition this is our third eye chakra a very powerful chakra here okay so now I will explain to you the intuition I want you to close your eyes for a moment and know that your awareness, your existence, it always is and it always has been. Once you exist, you will always exist. Your connection with source energy has never been disconnected. We come here to this earth thinking that we are, but from spirit we come and to spirit we return. Just know that you are a vibrational being and your consciousness 
never ceases to exist. You may depart from this physical body, but your consciousness is always forever existing. So this is how I want you to see your intuition. Can open your eyes, because I need to give you an example. I know this video is kind of long. You can cut it and we can we can kick back to it. Yes, processing all seven chakras takes a very long process. It doesn't have to be this long when we do our healing. Um, I could do one or two chakras, just depending on which ones need a little bit more work. I just want to show you the whole job of the seven, okay? But in regards to intuition, I want you to look at your life right from the beginning, right from when you remember, right? Think of the your baby pictures. Think of the album when you were born, okay? So I want you to see your life like a phone sideways, stretched out like a big circle right around you and you know when you scroll up and you look at past memories you know you're looking at past future present whatever right you scroll you know pictures pictures this time i want you to scroll pictures it's a circle around you right it's a phone stretched out sideways with a whole bunch of pictures and videos of your life just imagine that there's pictures and videos of every moment of your life right memory back so right now I want you to go back this is a fun exercise just follow me scroll 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 all the way back okay so here you are as a child right here you are as a baby here you are as a baby right and you're recalling all the memories right you're recalling all these memories okay scroll forward this is your childhood right your child in your childhood process that process that this is how you clear this this is how you clear who you are who you're not you're just existing right in your teenagehood all the lessons that were learned there like in your 20s all the lessons that were learned there let's go to the 30s more lessons all right, let's go to the 40s. Let's go to the 50s. And we're in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and the 100s. And why am I going so far, Erica? Check it out. Let's kick it up a notch. 200. 500. 500 years old? Yeah. How about 10,000? How about infinite? Infinite. Why do I say infinite? Because you're an infinite being. You're infinite that way and you're infinite this way. You're always existing. You've always existed. There's no age to you. There's no age. You've existed for eons. So now that's why I say a circle. A big circle. Because it's never ending. It's not linear. So wrap that around your mind. That you are all lifetimes this way and all lifetimes that way. It's continuum. And you are in the center. So that means you're experiencing your now. Everywhere. At all times. This is intuition. Knowing future. Knowing where you belong. Knowing where you've been. Knowing where you come from. Intuition helps you know that everything's one. Now I want you to expand that phone, that rotating phone, this little exercise. I want you to expand it all the way up and all the way down. This is how infinite you are. You're over expanding everywhere. You are energy everywhere. Understand? Everything that happens to you is connected to you. Everything that's not happening to you. It's not supposed to happen to your experience. So don't force it. This is what you have to let go of. Okay? Alright. That's your intuition. Your intuition is your higher self. Giving you the messages that you need. 
skeptical about your growth. Your higher self shares those messages to your heart. You have to have that intuition. You have to have that third chakra open. Knowing that it's part of you, this intuition. It's you. I hope I'm getting the message across. It's going to take work for some. I'm here. This is what I do. I help you open up. <laughs> we can work more on that. But know that everything that happens in your life is a mirror reflection of what you need to learn. So it's not about taking things personal. It's not about being honored or accepted. It's about truly being an observer. Not so much a, re a reaction to just observe, observe and be in this now, you know, okay, I think that's enough on that one, all right, so we're going to finish with our crown chakra, we're going on 30 minutes here, so we're going to do our crown, crown chakra, well, your crown chakra is very simple, basically, it's just an awareness that you've always been connected to source energy, or where you're coming from, um, I would see it like you are part of that plug. You know, you're not the end of the plug. Actually, the end of the plug is what's connected to the earth. <laughs> what gives you this physical experience. So just know that that crown chakra is basically that connection center that brings the reception in. Okay, your connection to all that is. Just open that up. And the way that I want you to open it up, and this is how we're going to finish this meditation, is I want you to just look up and imagine a hole, like a cave, okay? Like if you're looking at the top of a cave, and you're inside that hole, right? And you're understanding what the crown chakra is about and what it is. You're elevating from the bottom of the cave. You're just elevating, floating, 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 floating up to the hole, floating up to the top of the cave. And I want you to float up to the top of the cave like if you got your arms open and the light is just pulling you up, like a white light just pulling you up out of the cave. And you're surrendering to it, surrendering to it, surrendering to all that is. 